How's everyone doing? Great, great, great. We're not used to seeing your name on the injury so. Yeah, I guess nowadays you gotta, you know, uh, a little ice in the knee. I'm good. I'm, I'm ready to roll. Excited uh, about this week going on the road. We've been playing well on the road, so uh, we're excited about it and uh, try to have a, um, you know, a great week of practice and, and try to execute this week. So I'm, I'm ready to roll. Never missed a game in your career. How, it's obviously something you can be really proud of. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, practicing every day, playing, playing the games, obviously. Um, you know, it's it's important to me. It's important, to, you know, just to, you know, get out there every time I, you know, I get a chance. So, uh, anytime I, I get to play, is is, is, is a, I'm excited. So, uh, it does definitely means a lot. You know, it's something that I've always wanted to do is play uh, every game if I can. And um, but this this I'm, I'm feeling great. So it's it's nothing really crazy. On that touchdown to Tyler, can you walk us through that one? And is that as much of a prayer as it looked, or did you have confidence that? You know, with the defender's back turned to, it was either going to be a touchdown or an incompletion, or, or what was the thought process making that throw? Well, Scrant uh, kind of looked to the left. It wasn't there to the left. And then I noticed Tyler was fighting, uh, you know, his way to get open. And uh, and then the guy kind of, you know, rushed me pretty quickly. So I tried to uh, put it out uh, to the sideline a little bit further. Um, and uh, the ball didn't go as quite as far as I wanted it to, but uh, it got there for sure. And, and uh, he made a sweet play. I mean, Tyler's been exceptional all year. So, um, you know, he, he it was a lot of trust. You know, you just trust your receivers. You you build that relationship. We've thrown a lot of footballs together, made a lot of cool plays together. So, um, you, know, you trust a guy like that. He's one of the best receivers in the NFL. And on Hawkins roster, I mean, they have what you would consider the, the prototypes with Matt Ryan yeah. and with Julio Jones. And that's why they went what third overall and sixth overall. And you guys are both third rounders. Is it, is it kind of cool that you guys are you know, just as productive, but kind of the, the anti-prototype, so to speak? Um, I think the good thing about this game is, you know, for the most part, you know, if, uh, if you know how to catch and run and you're, sm you're smart and you can figure things out, you know, and you're tough and you have all that mixed together. Uh, I think anybody can play this game, and um, I think a guy like Tyler, he works at it every day. You know, he's got an amazing craft. One of the best kickoff returners, punt returners in the league. He's one of the best receivers in the league. He's he's been great ever since he stepped onto the field. Uh, you know, I wonder what Tyler was like when he was young. You know, <laughs> you know, just watching him run around, make plays. He just he's a guy you want to have. You know, at the park, and you're going to pick him first every time, just if you really know him. You know, so. Uh, he's been fun to you know play football with, obviously, and it's been uh, he's been uh, a great addition to our football team for the past several years. You mentioned the trust with Tyler. You guys have played together a long time, obviously, but do you feel like that connection is even higher now than it's ever been? Just the way you guys are. Yeah, I mean, I think the past couple of years has been uh, really you know on point in what we want to be able to do. I think uh, just our our. our are focused with one another, our study habits, you know, and how he studies the game and how we communicate those things. And there's several games and several moments that I can, you know, point my finger to that really show show up. And um, in the last week, there's different moments this year. There's different moments you know, last year where you know, Carolina Panthers game, just him understanding things and uh, just it's uh, it's all that practice, it's all that film study that he does and that we try to do together and communicate on and just make sure that we're on the same page. Figure skaters on the ice. <laughs> have you considered figure skating, and is that an accurate comparison in this? I have not. I have not uh, thought about figure skating. You know, funny thing is, the one time I've been on the ice, I, I fell. I was in, in sixth grade, actually, and uh, it was our it was our uh, our class like uh, end of the year party, and in Virginia, it was class end of the year party, and we all went to. You know, all the guys, all the girls, we went to the ice rink, and as soon as I hit the ice, just wham, <laughs> I hit the ground. So figure skating is not in my thing. Um, you know, synchronizing swimming would be more, uh, you know, synchronized swimming would be more my alley being in the water than the ice. But, uh, you know, but Tyler, um, you know, he, he's, he's a great player. You know, he makes it easy on the quarterback. And I think anybody that, um, you know, wants to be great, you got to have other great teammates and other people around you that, that uh, allow that to, to happen. And uh, you know, he makes it look easy for me. Are you surprised that a Dan Quinn defense is struggling as much as it is this year? Well, I think that when you turn on the film of their defense, it, it's flying around. They're making, they got guys all over the field. They got great talent. Um, you know, I, I think they're obviously hurting the secondary with certain, certain guys, you know, out and, and everything else in the past several weeks and stuff. But um, they got a lot of great players. So I think that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to figure out why it hasn't gone the, their way this season because they, they're doing well in offense and defensively, they got a lot of great players. So I, I'm, I'm sure that, um, they're working their tails off to try to figure all that out. Do you 
knowing you as well as he does, does he do anything differently defensively against you than other teams do? Um, no, I, I wouldn't think so. He, he has his plan and he understands it. He's, you know, the cool thing about Coach Quinn, um, I got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's, he was a person when he was here, um, you know, he was here getting here at 5.15, 5 o'clock in the morning. He'd stay late. Uh, he loves the game. So, um, you know, he's studying everything that we are doing and everything that uh, we've done in the past. He's, he, he's also studying, you know, how to figure, you know, how to get their defense really rolling because they, they got a lot of great players and they're doing some really cool things in certain situations. And so um, we just have to be ready because I know, I know he's, he's a tremendous football coach and uh, a great person too. What did you learn from him when he was here? I know you know, I, what I learned from Coach Quinn was, I think, work, work, work ethic's everything. I think he had a tremendous work ethic. Like I said, he was here early in the mornings. And uh, I, I loved how he walked around the building, too. He was confident, humble, but uh, always focused. You know, and always, you know, the thing about Coach Quinn was, as he was defensive coordinator, he would go teach the defensive line every every day. They'd do the pad drills together. And I, I, I vividly remember that, you know, while, while I was warming up, getting ready, they were doing their thing the, on the other end of the field. And uh, he was in the mix. He was coaching his butt off, you know. So um, I got a lot of respect for Coach Quinn. You game planned against the Lions, obviously, last year in Quandre Diggs. Just what kind of player is he that joined you guys? Yeah, it's exciting to have Diggs on our team now. He's a physical player. He makes a lot of plays. Um, you know, he, he flies around now. So he's out there and walk through just now and uh, looking for things to hit and looking for plays to make. So um, he's a good player, a really good player. What was the coaching learning point from the interception last week? Just don't throw it. <laughs> That's it. You know, there's not much else. Uh, you know, so yeah, you move on, you know, play football, you know, play the rest of the game, just trying to focus on trying to find a way to win. Didn't, didn't get to win, but uh, that, that's really it. You mentioned moving on. This team has a really good record coming off losses over the years. Is there something to that, just kind of putting a, a game behind you and, and being ready? I, I think it's, um, I think our ability to move forward um, through the, all the great moments and some of the tough ones and tough losses or whatever, I think it's because of our consistency and our approach. I think that um, every game, we always say this, but you know, every game we, we really view it as a championship game and championship preparation. And uh, no matter how well it goes or uh, how tough it is, um, we still have that same approach the next week. And so we leave it behind. We, we focus on the next moment. That's the fun part about this game. And uh, that's the great part about being with each other because you, you do everything for each other. You know, we're fighting for, for everyone. And uh, we're fighting for everything that we want to do and set out to do at the beginning of the year. And uh, you know everything's still in front of us. We're, you know, I, like I was to keep telling the guys in the huddle. You know, while we're out there and walk through, hey, why not? You know, why not us? Why not us? You know, it's just keep riding, guys. You know, why not? Why not? So just really believe in that. Your record after a loss, the team's record after a loss. What do you attribute that to? Um, well, I think I think we just missed that one. <laughs> but uh, really, um, I, I think the biggest thing is. Um, you know, for us, it's really just being focused and being consistent, you know, and just us being prepared, um, you know, us being ready, really ready to roll for the next week. Does Carroll's approach, is that different than coaches you've had about every game the same and no big game? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think it's very similar to some of the coaches. I think, you know, Brett Bielema had that thought, you know, I was at Wisconsin. Um, you know, he definitely talked about that, Paul Chris, too, as well, on our approach, you know, from from offensive standpoint. Um, but Coach Carroll, he, he has that whole vibe and that energy of, uh, you know, just loving the day, loving the moment, just being in it, you know, not, not being outside of it, just being present. And he's, you know, in my opinion, the best to do it, you know, at, and, you know especially at that. So um, we're, we're grateful for that. Will Disley was always a big target for you, but also from an efficiency standpoint, I think he caught like 23 of 27 targets before getting mm -hmm. hurt. And so, Taking him out's a, a big thing, and that's like Jacob Hollister is kind of taking that role as the, the, the go-to pass-catching tight end. How has he come along these last couple of weeks? Um, and are you and him working at, together extra just because of how much you need that position? Well, yeah, Disley was making a lot of plays for us. He was on a hot streak, you know, um, rolling, 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 making plays, catches every, all over the field, touchdowns. Um, so we we got to got to make up for that, and so um, we got to find a way to do that. And I think Jacob Hollister is doing a great job. He's working at it. He's he's crafty. Um, I think uh, Luke has been a great addition for us um, too, and so. He, he finds a way to get open as well. So uh, those two guys we really need. And so I think getting that extra work is really important. And just that communication, um, you know, of, of what we're thinking, what we're seeing, uh, how we want to play certain guys in certain situations and all that is really is really critical. So you made a, have you made it a point to, to get some extra work in with, with Jacob? As yeah, I have actually, yeah. So we, we were actually talking about that out there. And then, um, you know, we got some, you know, yesterday too as well. And just, I think, you know, it's not a whole bunch of extra, just, just making sure it's the right, right ones and making sure we're getting all the things that we need. <clears throat> 
you've talked about your goal setting before. Was no interceptions in a season ever a goal? Yeah, it's been a goal for sure. I mean, I don't see why not. Um, you know, I think that you you really focus on really games more than anything else. You go into the game and just you want to be efficient. You want to be uh, you know throwing touchdowns and and uh, keep moving the ball. So I think that's something that I've always focused on. I remember my I, it really kind of started more so than anything else my freshman year in college. Um, when I was at NC State, you know, kind of went on a hot streak there. Um, so, and I believe getting on, on streaks and hot streaks and all that stuff is just being in the moment, just having a clear head, and just um, and just going for it too. You know, you can't play timid in this game. You know, to, to go win, you got to go for it too. You know, so you, you're making all the throws, making all the try, trying to make all the tough throws too. And and uh, when you got great players, you can trust that. Anything else? Thank, Thank you guys. Go Hawks.